In the kitchen, hostile, trying to flip it out the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody know. Watch them take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. 100 miles per hour, I might crash, cause a good die young. Yeah, a good die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Long dirt road all on my own. We got our bow, we got our arrows, binoculars, rangefinder, hunting bag, all the camo, the camera gear. I think we got all the essentials. If you couldn't tell by the intro, we are actually headed to Africa. We're here stateside currently. I've never been out of the country. And as you guys know, I'm a huge hunter. If you can't tell by all the animals on the wall, we got quite a few up in the living room. And going to Africa is kind of like one of those dream trips. We're actually supposed to meet up with Mike and Kirk at the airport in Washington. So we got to catch a flight out of Charlotte. Go meet up with those guys. None of us have never been to South Africa and honestly I have no clue what we're getting into today. Bree, you ready for Africa? Yep, got you all got the clothes. <laughs> That's a pretty big bag. <laughs> we're gonna be gone for a little while so we got everything we need. Let's go to the airport. <laughs> in Washington and of course on this trip I actually want to show you guys like all of it I've never been out of the country I've traveled a lot this next flight is 14 hours that we're getting on it'll get us to Africa and then we gotta hit another flight but hopefully in this video we do kill some animals it should be pretty cool but we are headed to our gate to meet up with Mike and Kirk and hopefully everybody's flights has made it here so we'll be seeing them shortly what do you see it's nothing you don't see nothing Black. I think we're underground <laughs> Where is Mike and Kirk? Have they made it here yet? <laughs> you were tracking me, weren't you? No, yeah. no. I was tracking you. I was like, he's right over there. I know he's right over there. Dude, are you ready for Africa or what? Are I'm freaking ready? pumped. Where's Kirk? No idea. No idea. Well, well, that ain't good. Is he here? I don't know. I, don't I ain't talked to him. Do you track him? <laughs> no. I, I was literally like watching you walk here. I'm like, I've never done that before. Dude, it's a 21 minute walk from the gate we got. Oh, yeah. It's all like underground escalator. Yeah. Washington's weird, yeah. dude. Yeah. Are you ready for Africa or what? I'm like, ready. Are we Are we doing the thing, uh, rock, paper, scissors? I mean, no, we, can, we can do whatever. I don't <laughs> yeah. care, dude. I'm pumped. I'm ready. Here comes the man, the myth, the legend. Hey man, you look like you're going to Africa. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> How does it take you that long to get through an airport? And I hear you walk off mountains like super fast. We were hanging out there all day. Okay. Kirk, I'm glad of you to join us. Yeah. Are you ready for Africa? Happy to be here. I'm pumped. What are we doing right now? We missed our boarding group and now we're, we're trying to get on a plane. You ready, Bree? Oh yeah. Oh man, I've never been on a plane this big. It's gonna be interesting. Let's check it out. Mike, you got the thermal drone? I do, right here she is. Do you know if it's legal there? <laughs> no idea. We're fixing to find it, out, it's eh? Gonna find, it's going to find African animals. For the very first time ever. I, I don't think seen. anybody's ever yeah. done that. Nope. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's check out how big this plane is. Hello, welcome. Howdy. Wow. Oh, here's first class. Goodness gracious, look how big this plane is. Not only has this half, but that half over there. This is twice the size of a normal plane. Does this not give the nightclub vibe? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like a plane. I have never seen a plane this big. Are you coming to the very back with the four people we're, like we're, us? We're all like Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's our seats. Look at that. Well, guys, we are on this plane for the next 14 hours all the way to South Africa. We're going to play on our screens, watch some movies, wish us luck. Is a huge airplane. Mike, we got the gang back together. Yeah, we do. Uh, new country, Africa. So I haven't set foot on it yet. No. Oh, just... Does anyone know where we're headed right now? No idea. No idea. We are following the pack. Hendon, we're following you, buddy. We're just trusting you right now. Show us the way. Show us the way. We gotta go to the baggage 
and uh, pick up all our bags. Yeah. We got passport control, and then we got to drop our bags and back off for our next flight into uh, Port Elizabeth. Perfect. Sense. It looks like they would just throw them on the other plane. Yeah. Kurt, buddy. What's up? Good to see you. How was your flight? Excellent, excellent. I slept most of the time. Me too. I know. He was sleeping straight up. <laughs> straight down. I had no idea. Man. I thought it was back the whole time. Dude, I tell you what, I woke up one time and my neck was stiff as a board. I mean, it was bad. But it was just that one time and then it just was fine. So, Kirk, what's on the top of your list? There's your three top animals on the list for this week. Number one, a kuyu. Kuyu. <laughs> a kudu. So oh, that, kudu. So, that's the animal people want to shoot. That's what everybody I mean, comes for. That's what I want to shoot. Right? Like, yeah. That's the first thing. I just see these big spiraling antlers. So uh -huh. Is it an antler or a horn? It's a horn. All right, what's next? Yeah. Kudu? I mean, I really want to kill a warthog. Like warthog. Cool. warthog. I want to kill a big one with the huge yeah. tusk. Yeah. The sweet yeah. European mount. Some like 14 inch tusk. Yeah, and then I, it'd be cool to like see some out there and then be like, okay, what's that? What's that? Because I don't, you know, yeah. I know it's just, just at random, right. something cool. The kudu is like the animal. The top. Right. Top dog. Mike, what are you thinking? I, I want a kudu as well. Springbuck and a warthog. Yeah. yeah. That would be and dope. a monkey. Monkey. Baboon. Yeah. It's up there. That would be a sweet. So that's the only one is a baboon? You can't just shoot him on no. no, there's both. I'd probably feel bad shooting Try to catch one, try to bring it home. I think everyone here wants to try to get on a big kudu. I would like a Jim's buck, an Impala, Warthog. I heard that little, the list goes on and on. It's crazy. It's nothing like back in North America. I mean, the, the list of animals we could see out here is nuts. But we're just chilling. We're about to board onto the plane. I think that is us. Hey, love it, man. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go now. Let's roll. This plane's a little smaller than the last one. It is. Yeah. <laughs> but it, this one might fit inside the other one. It probably would. <laughs> well, we are boarding our last plane. What is it? An hour and a half flight. Then we got a three-hour truck ride. Yeah. Get this last flight knocked out. Let's go see some animals. This is about to be a good time. Oh, Mike went off the back. Dude, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm, I'm freaking Jack now. Dude. Time to go get all our bags and uh, should be getting picked up. Three hour drive to where we're going and we'll be ready to hunt in the morning. Everybody's gotten their stuff. Now we just gotta get the truck. We're ready to roll. I assume we're riding with y'all. Yeah, yeah. We're all right. So we're getting loaded up. These racks back here are cool. We got seats on each side. The freaking steering wheel being on the wrong side, bro, that is tripping me up. Mike, is that not tripping you up? I open up the door, he's like, wrong side. <laughs> Did That's you do great. the same? Yeah, no, I went for the, I guess I did do the same. Yeah, I was on that side, he's like, wrong side. Hop in, piled on the back looking for a mountain lion. Yeah. Yes, sir. So what made y'all put the steering wheel on the wrong side? <laughs> <laughs> we finally make it, Kurt. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so happy to see that building. Goodness gracious. We made it, boys. Dude, we made it. Were you hauling like we Dude, were hauling? Yeah, we were hauling butt. But that thing's smooth. Dude, like... is it not buttery? What? Dude, we need I these in America. Up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dude, it get is buttery. That's hilarious. Buttery. We, we're hitting the speed bumps at like 50 mile an hour. Yeah, just yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah. Just yeah. take it. This place is cool. Oh, wow. That is sweet. Now, what are these? That's a black wildebeest and black. that's a blue wildebeest. Okay, that's cool. See the shower? Yeah, this is nice. Dude, I'm so jacked be off the plane. The amount of time we spent in the freaking plane is ridiculous. Got a towel, some water, some hats, that's sweet. How's the bed? Oh, that's a good one. Let's go look in the inside of that. Go look over there? Yeah, let's go look. All right, Kirk, you gotta give us the tour of your room real quick. All right, I've only seen it once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this is sweet. Oh my God. Gosh, this is cool, dude. This is super cool. Look at the giraffe. I want one of those. That's the, uh, starts with an S, Sable. It's the fallow deer? Bro, this place is sick. What's the bathroom look like? We got, we got some food in. Yeah. yeah, this place is nice, man. Yeah. Well, guys, we're gonna go get our bags, put them in our room, and uh, got an early start tomorrow morning to get after everything. Should be cool. See you guys in the morning. What do we have going on out here? Mike actually rented a uh, DJI T40 over here. He wants to fly some animals out. Check this out. Got everybody out here looking at it. You'd think we're stateside with that thing in there. First morning in Africa, getting settled in, about to get some breakfast. It should be super cool. What's on the menu? Do we know? What's in there? 
open one of those, Bree. Ooh, yeah, little awesome. wieners. What's in this one? Some ham? Oh, baby. Eggs? That's sweet. All right, Bree. You making your plate? Yep. Oh, can we get a wiener yep. toast real quick? Tastes like a fancy hot dog. But it's really good. <laughs> like it's a really quality hot dog. This is beautiful there, bud. Looks great. That looks really good. Try a wiener for me. I think it's just a hot dog. But it's really good. Like, it's too good to be a hot dog. I think it's more, more than a hot dog. <laughs> like a little bit of a sausage <laughs> hot dog? I don't know. Cheese grillers. Cheese grillers. So there is cheese in them. Yeah. I thought there was. Get a little taste of the eggs. One out of ten. Really good. Solid. Seven point two. Seven two. Yeah, I agree. They're good. Yeah, they are good. So we're coming back here behind all the uh, the cabins. You got a old shooting range. So I'm trying to get my scope cam to work right now. It should be pretty cool. African animals on scope cam. All right, we got her set up. Looks like we'll still be able to. That's good. Ooh, that stock is low. No, I'm right handed. Just move on this side. Which one do you want me to? Uh, uh, bottom box or uh, right target? Bottom right. Bottom right on the bottom yeah. target. Yeah. So this gun is a 308. Hopefully the scope cam likes it. Super bright with that sun coming in on us. Uh, we'll give her a rock. Iron hole. Thank you, Miss. Y'all see where that hit? Uh, it hit basically Bye. like Bye. this much. Bye. Perfect. Bye. Perfect. Bye. It half inch off. Yeah. Half inch off. Bye. That sounds like Bye. that'll work. Bye. 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 That same one. Just put on it like this. That's spot on. What are you shooting, Mike? Two, two, three. Be careful, it kicks. Yeah, that'll blow your shoulder off. This will freaking knock down anything that we're shooting. No, no, no. Okay, so, so, so this is just to see if we're good No, shooters. we'll shoot the springbok, we'll shoot impala, we'll okay. shoot the smaller antelope with that, no problem. Um, and it also doesn't cause a lot of meat damage. Okay. And if, when it comes to so, the bigger stuff like the kudu and the ear lance and that kind of a thing, we'll need a bigger rifle. So when this bullet goes in, does it open up? Yeah, it's a soft point. So it's okay, so it don't go through it. Have you yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the goal. Like, you Mike, have you done really much cool. rifle shooting before? I mean, I shoot yeah. rifles. Yeah. Not like the time. Yeah. Yeah. See what you got. About one and a half inches left, a little bit high, but it's still more than good enough. Let's put one more in, but it also could be the ammo. Ready? A little bit right, a little bit low. So we're cool, but it's still in the, it's still in the general area that's going to drop anything. Okay, ready? Got him. Hit it. How many yards was that? Uh, like 220, 220, somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah. yeah. Kirk, you up? Well, guys, Mike has shot. Just waiting on Kirk to shoot. He's got three guys in time lapse. Get all this wrapped up because then we're going hunting. We're actually going to get to experience Africa, all the animals in the hunt. You know, this is something that's like being able to come out here and experience it all. It's as much for the experience as the actual hunting itself. I mean, seeing the culture and seeing the things over here and learning about Africa. I mean, it's amazing. It's super, super cool. But uh, we're going to finish shooting these guns in. Go hunt. So there's the Elon right there. What a freaking beast. And then that's the what? Red Hartebeast. Red Hartebeast? Yeah. And what are we one doing? Which you prefer? Which well, we're both flipping. We both okay, want. you want that Yeah, one. I think we both want the okay. Elon. Yeah. Yep. We're going to flip for it and see who gets it. <laughs> what are you flipping? A Zen can. Oh, whoa. We flipping a Zen can? All right, what do you want? You want the top or the bottom? Mm. You pick. I'll take the top. The top. The top. The, the top for the, I'm gonna let, for the Elon. I'm going to let it hit the ground. All yeah? Right? Just work with it. All right, let's see it. Oh! So you get the big one. Oh man! So check this thing out. This is now on my list of uh, what I can take. How much does that animal weigh? Uh, it's about over a thousand pounds. Thousand pounds. I mean, it looks it looks heavier than that. My goodness. Sorry, Kirk. It's all right, buddy. You flipped it, man. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're about to hop in the trucks and go get the first hunt underway and uh, see what we see. I think we're all after kudu, but who knows what we'll run into. Got the rifle going in the truck. Scope cam is on it. It's gonna be very unique and interesting. I'll tell you that. I don't even like the idea of being on the freaking wrong side of the truck. Robert, what are we going after today? Believe it or not, you're going after a big kudubu. 
Big kudu bull. Oh. Check this place out. We couldn't see all this coming in here at night. Now I was like, this y'all's typical brush? Uh, yeah, yeah, in the flat areas, this is our typical brush, but in the mountains, you will get more. So we're headed to the mountains? Yeah, okay. The mountains. Yeah, this is crazy. trying to, to spot them um, before we get out of the truck and start walking looking for them. So if we see them, we can make a spot and stop. And it sounds like that's how a lot of our hunting is going to be. Yeah, that's most most of the going to be like that. Yeah. I've seen a zebra. I heard zebra yeah. is like top yeah, zebras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want to shoot one? Now's the time. That, that is crazy. Freaking zebras of all things. Oh, but there will be more. Yeah. It's our first day, we don't have to go willy nilly. That is awesome. Wild zebras. I, I'm. I'm <laughs> Getting excited. That is cool. Maybe later on the trip we might think about harvesting a zebra. I'd really like to eat one. I've heard such great things about them. It's one of the best other mounts or rugs you can Yeah, that's it. about as African as it gets. Uh, a, zebra, <laughs> a zebra is one of the top things for, for newcomers to come and shoot. That is crazy. The rug is. Yeah, they are beautiful. I don't know. I feel kind of like they're more so like a horse, but at the same time, and these are wild animals. Yeah, they're wild. Animals. Yeah, they're about as wild as you can get. So it's like, this is where they're from. I don't know. That's something we're gonna have to think on. I wasn't expecting to actually see any. We're gonna keep looking for a kudu and uh, I guess just see what we see. We don't know what will happen, but there's a lot of animals that we are looking to harvest. Now this is quite literally like off-roading. Good night. Look at what we're going up. Oh my God. These trucks handle amazing. We need these back in the States so bad. So what I'm going to do is we're going to drive to where I saw that bull a few times. Uh -huh. I'm going to drop him off. Just going to walk through the bush, but loudly. Yeah. Try and to do a drive. Yeah. Then we're going to just drive around and stop the truck and walk where they usually go over a ridge yeah. and they usually stand there. Yeah. Then we're just going to wait and see what comes up. Yeah. So right now they're bedded. Yeah. They're typically hot, they're, probably they're bedded, bedded or they in very thick bush like this. Yeah. They'll stand in the bush. Yeah. And they'll browse. Yeah. Okay. Because the sun about 11, 12 o'clock. Uh-huh. Almost at its eyes now. They don't like it. Yeah. So in the mornings and the late afternoons like to come up. Would you say uh the kudu are the hardest to kill out here? Yeah, or? it's the Grey Ghost of Africa, it's its nickname. Grey Ghost of Africa Ghost. is the kudu, which is what we're after. So if you if you are able to shoot a kudu in a pre range area that's not fenced yeah. camp off, yeah. then you did quite well. Oh guys, got the rifle. We're shooting at 308. I was shooting at the range earlier. We're gonna run up here. We got a guy running a drive. Hopefully uh, he'll run this thicket and run everything out of the thicket out by us. Hopefully it works. We shall see. Things could get Western. About to shoot him, Paula. The one far, far right. They can take it right in the chest, just below the chin. Shot, dropped him right there. There we go. Good job. Congrats on that your awesome. your first I animal in Africa. It's as steady as I was hoping. It's a bit of buck fever. You got a bit of buck fever. I, did, I don't know. I just the other sticks we were on. I felt like I could get really solid. Yeah. Like, well done. Good first job. buck in awesome. Africa. That is sweet. First well African animal. Well done. I like to make myself out as I'm a good shooter, but man, when you don't feel solid, it worries you. That's how far was it? 257 yards off the shooting sticks. Dropped them like a pile of bricks. That 308 crushed them. That was one of the animals. I mean, when you think Impala, you think Africa, at least to me. Rob said that was a good trophy Impala, so we're sending one down. It did not look that far to me though. I wouldn't have guessed he was over 250 yards like that. We walked right up on top of this ridge going to where we were going, and that group was just sitting right there in the open. Perfect. We got the tracking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's see this thing. Oh, that's cool. So that is a yeah, that's right where I was wanting it to go. Well, Dude, sir. thank you. That is so pretty. And, and I'm sure you have the first animal of all the friends out there. <laughs> first ever Impala. I've never even laid hands on one. It has massive curls back. Yeah. So the typical thing you want to see in Impala uh -huh. is how it makes a, how I, in Afrikaans, a buck. Yeah. So the more it curls back and then goes up, 
uh -huh. the more length it's going to have. So this is way back. You can see how far back the horns go before it starts cooling up. Yeah. Check out that shot right there. Was quartering so hard at me. And that's exactly where I needed that bullet to go. Perfect. The old 308 got her done. Impala off the list of African animals that I'd like to see and take home. That is cool. How old would a ram like that be? This ram is about four or five years old. Four or five years old? In its prime. Okay. Well, we're going to move him, get some pictures real quick. And I don't know if we're going to go meet up with the guys or keep hunting. Yeah, but keep, uh, hunting. keep hunting. I like it. I like it. Look at that. That is beautiful. <laughs> So they're getting ready. I think they're gonna gut them out for us. These guys have been treating us like awesome. You guys ever wanted to come to Africa? We've had so many people try to talk us out of coming just because like shit happens. No matter what country you go to, stuff can happen. But uh, knowing we got the right people taking care of us, not worried about a thing. These people are awesome. So we're headed out for our second <laughs> hike. We're gonna hike over here. We're gonna do that man drive we were talking about. And, uh, hopefully it works. Definitely want a big kudu. Like everyone comes to Africa to shoot a kudu. Definitely would like to shoot and eat one. Beautiful animals. Check this out. No way. So this, this could have been a wounded wildebeest yeah. some of the other clients shot, but we haven't found it. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a female wildebeest. That's a female. Check that thing out. That is so cool. Oh, so typically the bush pigs uh -huh. or the caracal or the jackal yeah. would come and eat on a yeah. dead animal like this. So is it cool if I carry it out? Oh, do you want it? Yeah, that'd be sweet. Nice find, baby. Let's go. So that's going to finish up this, this morning hunt. We got out here late. Got the Impala. Super cool. And uh, whatever this is, I don't even remember. Something female. But uh, that's uh, with wildebeest. Hey, what did you say this was a female wildebeest? Yeah, female wildebeest. Pretty cool, but uh, super cool just seeing everything. I've been talking to the guide and stuff. Very interesting, like everything that goes on around here. But let's throw this stuff in the truck and let's go see the guys. Oh, we are pulling back up to the lodge. First day, that was pretty, pretty sweet. We still got an evening hunt this evening. Hopefully we're gonna get on a kudu. Looks like we're the first back. I know Kirk shot a baboon and uh, do we? Do, is it Mike that shot the... Uh, Bless Buck? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. That is so sweet. Top out of here. Oh, me. That was pretty sweet. Pretty cool. Well, we're going to hang out, wait for the guys to get here, and uh, check out what they shot. We got a baboon coming and a Bless Buck. Super, super cool. Mike's crew rolling in. Let's go. Wait, you don't have blood on your face? <laughs> they got you to put blood on wait, your face? No, he said it's a tradition. You're getting blood on your face. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Did you not shoot him? Yes. No. Uh, Why didn't you put blood on his face? <laughs> because he has, already, he has already shot an animal before. <laughs> Not in South Africa. Not in South Africa. There we go. Hey, it's done and over with now. What? It's done and over with now. Wow. That is cool, man. It is. It was a cool hunt, too. Yeah. So I hit him in the back. He, uh -huh. he just started running. He seen us. He started running. I hit him back. And then yeah. we had to run around the mountainside. No Set way. A couple different times. And then when I hit him the second time, he turned. Wow. How far was the first shot? I don't know. I'd say probably 150. 150 yards. That's sweet. So that's a bless buck. That's a white bless buck yep dude congrats man Thanks. so that is also on our list yeah yeah we get a few of those i shot something not on the list oh, dude that said. thing is nice yeah that impala yeah they're saying it's a big impala but i don't know what i'm looking at right in the neck yeah he's quartering towards Smoked me 257 him. yards something like that how'd the hunt go it was it was good so you spotted him ran after him or we we're walking up this ridge right and we creased the ridge and they're off on this like flat spot on top of a i guess another ridge and the sun was right over our heads they couldn't see us or nothing uh, <laughs> nice pretty pretty dope well guys we are getting back in the truck it is round two of hunting hopefully we can go get on uh i don't know a buck. what do you think i think tomorrow is the day for games buck really because it's on the neighbor's ranch uh-huh so we just have to get his permission first okay uh, but it's not gonna be a problem we just have to let him know yeah. once we go there but uh oh, that's what i'm asking you are you keen for zebra or spring buck or spring buck bless buck bless buck okay. whatever's on the list i guess okay we'll rock it and roll it found some spring bucks we spotted them they're on the other side of this hill we're gonna try to creep around the edge get down to them to where we can actually get a shot off hopefully there's a big ram in there and uh we can smoke them all right let's get this gun out lose this door real quietly hopefully we get on them some spring bucks would be cool no one shot one yet so uh should be dope <laughs> in front of him. 
you should there be one behind his knee. Or the one to the right. Mm -hmm. That one in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, Ren. It's nice. But the one just to the right of him. Far right, far oh right. Oh my gosh. Damn shit. Darker color in the sun. He's looking at us, he's looking left now. You hit one. Felt bad. Yeah, it's down. Down? It's down. It's down. It felt bad. It's down. Damn, this shot cam turned off again. 220, right? He said 120. I'm like, these things gotta be further than that. And uh, I was getting adjusted, getting ready to shoot, and the dang shooting sticks broke. I don't know if we got any of that on camera. It's kind of a, a cluster, considering this is the second time the shot cam's turned off, and we're kind of free balling out here. What were you saying? I think he stood up. He was down. I saw his leg. Yeah. So I yeah. saw one, one run to the left after the other spot. Like, I think he's laying there now, never Well, let's hope he's laying there. I thought I heard a thud, but then I heard the bullet go, Woo! Like it didn't get a good expansion. We've been chasing and chasing and chasing these things, and the freaking sh shooting stick snapped. I was like, oh my gosh. What'd you find? Oh, pull it up. What's that? Well, there's that. It's a horn. I think it's a spring buck. Well, he wasn't laying dead like uh, we had thought. Boy, that shot felt bad. I was not happy with it, but that's broken shooting sticks and us chasing them just kind of happened. Well, I think I missed. It was a bad scenario once those shooting sticks broke. 220, just off this. Didn't feel good when I squeezed off. I don't know. Scope cam turned off after I like, I told myself it's not happening again. But he did fall. I don't think he fell. He fell. I didn't hear a thud with the suppressor smacking him. I heard the bullet ricochet like it didn't lose too much speed once it came through. His legs were up in the air and he was like flopping. Rob and you say he was on his back, um, tell, legs yeah. kicking. And when I was walking up, I guess I was talking to the camera. Rob said he's seen him jump up and take off to the left. I don't know. Mike's here. He's got a thermal drone. We're going to see. We don't see no blood or no nothing. I feel awful. How do you miss with a high powered rifle? Did I miss? Did I hit him? I don't know. You point. hit him. We're going to take the hike back to the truck and I guess to wait on reinforcements because he's not here with the drone. We didn't get him. I uh, just got off the drone deer recovery website, ordered a pilot, here he comes. I think it's Mike Yoder himself. Is this drone deer recovery? What is it now? Drone spring buck recovery? Buck recovery. Drone buck recovery, yeah. spring buck recovery. Mike Yoder in the flesh, so, doing Yoder things. Okay, so we're gonna launch this thing. We're gonna go back to uh, the wide angle. Man, look at that view. I don't get to that see is this crazy. Thing. There she goes. So he was somewhere out here. Other side that road. Other side of the road. Yeah. yeah, the rocks are gonna be a little bit of a challenge, no doubt about it. Because I'm picking up all the rocks. The thing about it is you have to look through them. There's just no no way to No. Well, we only had two sets of batteries, so and struggling. All these rocks are holding heat, so we'll let these rocks cool down and try try to fly Ooh. again. Pulling up the footage. Getting you lined up. Guys, we're sitting around the fire. We got some steaks cooking. Kirk, we need your, your opinion on this one. We're gonna have to go frame by frame. The camera jerks, but you gotta see the, the after the fact. You see this, which one is it, that one? Yeah, yep, so it was the one that was standing. See him, oh my gosh. I mean, he's down, but watch. Watch, he'll, he'll get, get up, up, he'll get drag up. his shoulders and do a front flip. Watch, getting up right. Now, now he flips again. Yeah. I mean, I, I would have thought he was going to be laying there. Looks like he's dragging his shoulders and then you'll watch his whole ass. Look, he front flips. If I find this thing, you're going to see one average Joe Yoder I'm pumped. get fired First Africa recovery yeah. with a drone. Yeah. Unbelievable, dude. Average Joe Yoder out here. But we are, I think we're going to go back out and look. We had like two batteries. We flew for like 30, 35 minutes. I think if we go to the spot, put it up. We got three sets of batteries now. Fully charged, so I think it'll be good. We're going to let the steaks cook up, sit by the fire, eat, and go see if we can find them. Dude, I said you could sit on my lap, but I was joking. No, cook. Yeah, I was joking about that. We got the search crew. If you break my out. door, I ain't going to break it. It's 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, the, the recovery team has arrived to the scene of the accident. There's one up. I think the thermals got worse. How does that make sense? I just I need to get in the right at, area. Let's see if we see some heat, heat or anything, Robert. I, I mean, it's way better than it was, I can tell you that. I just need to get in the right area. But now you can really see the, 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 the live animals. You can see them stand. There it is! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Come look at him! Yeah! Where's him? Right there! 
It's no, not it's, a, it's not a lane. Yes, it is. It Here. Is. Go get Over by the pond. That's it. Where's your dress? Yeah! Let's go, dude. Yeah. Let's go. Laying dead. Dead as a hammer. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey, what do you think yeah. about that drone technology, yeah. man? Yeah. What do you think? I don't believe it. Come on. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> they did not Let's believe in the drone. Go. <laughs> yeah. He got it. Let's go. Hell yeah. First drone recovery ever in Africa. Yeah. Let's go. No. Hey, where'd you hit it? In the shoulder. Uh, in, the shoulder? in the shoulder? No nice. way. Is that a good one? That's a copper blaze one. It's not a common, it's a copper. Oh, I thought it was a common. But it's a big ram, eh? Hey? That's well, a big one? Well, Sweet. I knew once I started looking at those thermals and like the rocks weren't screwing me up, yeah. put me in the right direction, I'm going to find it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah. no, uh uh. Uh uh. I just showed you, mother. <laughs> So y'all said this is a copper spring buck, it's right? Copper, yes. And you said I should do the slam. There's, There's black, the slam. white, copper, and the common, common. one. Common one. You already have one down uh -huh. a quarter of the way there. Yeah. This is a very nice trophy. Yeah. If you shoot all of all four of them, it's gonna be a great video and a great trophy to have. Yeah. That is awesome. I mean, these little guys. I mean, what are they? Fifty pounds? Yeah. Yeah, about fifty pounds. They're small, but uh, we're gonna get some pictures real quick. That is freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. Let's get some pictures real quick. Well, guys, we're getting ready for this morning's hunt. Kirk, buddy, what are you, what are you wanting this morning? What you come to Africa for? A kudu. Kudu? You think you're going to get one this morning? I'm feeling good. <laughs> feeling good? It looks right at John, you. camera guy, you're, you're, you're Kirk's brother. What, what do you think? You think you got faith in him? That look. That look. <laughs> Mike, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah, you got a that recovery we did last, last night. night with that was wild. Yeah, that, that was, was wicked. That was, I think I'm going after a kudu. Kudu, so, kudu yeah. this morning. I think so. Maybe a baboon or baboon. a bamboo. Bamboo. <laughs> Honestly, don't even have a clue what uh, me and Bree are, are headed out for this morning, but we're here for a, a good time, not a long time. But we're going to haul hop in the trucks, go our separate ways, get to hunting, and see if we can't make something happen. There's a gims buck. A chinala. A gims buck? Yeah, a chinala. Sounds like there's a gims buck on the side of this mountain face. Probably six, seven hundred yards out. Well, I don't know why, but shooting through this windshield of my binos, it's so blurry. I think we can almost stop, yeah, start walking. All right, we're after a gims buck just like that. Let's grab this gun. Shooting 308. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's enough. It's pretty wild. I'm hoping this works. This style of hunting is just so different. There's nothing in the States like this. So that Gims buck standing, he might be a thousand plus yards, but he's already on to us. He's up there standing in the dirt road. I see, I, it's gonna be a hard one to make a play on. There's a big inland bull down there. I think that's on the list. I think we're more focused on the Gims buck that's up on this hillside. He's so far up on the hillside. I don't know how we're gonna and how we're gonna pull this together, but we'll see if we can get it real. Right which one? I tell you now, so I'm looking through the scope, which one is one on? Can you see? Uh uh. I just can't see the left one. I think the left one is one on. So the right one is two on. Shoot the right? Yeah. It looks like a good one? Yeah. Yeah. That's good, you just shoot another shot. Uh, gotta back up. Stand, stand, stand. Shoot again. Uh, it's to the right, yeah? To the right, yeah? Okay. To the right. Just look out of your yeah, scope. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at here. I'm thinking that. Oh, I'm dope. It's gonna stand again. It's just in that little top. Let's, let's go a bit closer. Just put your. Bolt up. Oh my gosh, that happens quick. The first shot sounded great. The second shot, he was moving, but it's just more so get another bullet in him just in case. He's just driving on off. I just want to see if it's the wounded one. Here, so. So there's two of them here. I just want to see the wounded one. So it's a right hand side one. Uh -huh. But don't shoot yet, I just want to make sure. Yeah, easy, easy. You can shoot it. Dropped. Let's go. Woo. 
Oh my gosh. I think I got a shed of sweatshirt. Yeah, long sleeves doesn't help. Africa, <laughs> cold at night, really hot during the day. All right, we're gonna take a walk. We gotta cross this canyon and get over there to them. But uh, that was that was pretty rough. Dropped them on that shot. I think we're probably, I don't know, 180 yards versus the two, 240, 250 we were just shooting. Let's go see this thing. This is gonna be wild. Did y'all see him get up and run? Oh shit. I think they can see them get up and run. They're scanning with binos to see if they can see them. He should have been laying right here. I mean, that joker dropped like a sack of potatoes. We see the bull with the broke horn that the one I shot was with. There's no sign of the one I shot. I mean, that joker folded up. Well guys, that's not what we were uh, expecting or hoping for this morning. We were hoping for a Gims buck. But I mean, first shot was, you said 257? 257. 267. See, I actually thought it was uh, like 230 or 240. But I still, I definitely aimed high. I mean, the gun zeroed at 100. Typically run our zeros back home at 200. But 308, not going to drop. Let's uh, see, 100 yard side end, 270, close enough to 300. Eight inches of drop at 260, if I had to guess. And that's right where I had it. Probably eight inches, nine inches high. But on that first shot at that distance, not exactly sure where I hit him, but uh, shot at him as he was kind of walking off. He was moving when I shot. Just more so trying to get another bullet in him because I really thought the first one was perfect. Come up the hill, see him off on the ridge on the bottom left. I mean, dropped him. Like when you shoot it, like for all you guys back in America, when you shoot a deer in the shoulders, you hit that upper shoulder and that bullet expands and it blows out both shoulders, fragments into the spine, takes out everything in the front end. And this just lights off. That's what he did. That is exactly what he did. But anyway, we got the drone coming out. We got a lot of sun on this face. And Maybe that's why they were here is warming up from last night. Hopefully these rocks don't heat up too quick and get the drone out here. Could be Mike's second thermal recovery here in Africa. So we'll see where the day takes us. So the guys are way out in that bottom. I mean, they are way out there. They're back at the other truck. They actually call the trucks here Bucky's or Bucky. Anyway, I think they're grabbing ours because it's a far walk and they're going to try to find a road that gets down over here towards us. Mike's got the drone in the air. We're gonna load up in this truck, get it turned around, go down there from where they launched it and uh, try to explain to him exactly where it was at. It sounds like Kirk wounded a uh, red wildebeest, I believe. Some kind of wildebeest. But, uh, I mean, this thing took two solid hits, maybe three. I think Rob still thinks I hit the third shot, but we're gonna get loaded up in this truck, head down there, talk to Mike. Oh, me. What's the thermals look like, Mike? Horrible. Horrible? I figured. A lot of big rocks up there. You saw one there. Yeah, the, that one was with the one I shot. There's no chance I can find it with thermals. <sighs> Yeah. Not looking good. No, not not thermals. I mean. Yeah. Wow. That, so that might be a tonight thing. So I shot this thing three times. First shot, sounded like I smoked it. Second shot, it was kind of just putting another bullet in it. Go up there, get about 100, 150 yards from it. Dead nuts, dropped it, didn't flinch, didn't nothing. Go down there to it, gets up and goes. Oh my. Well. I mean, it, you know when you shoot a white tail in the shoulders with a high powered rifle, blows bro both shoulders out, fragments in the spine, just dead nuts that's exactly what he did but somehow he got back up, got up unbelievable kidding? so with thermals rocks are your enemy and this place is all rocks rocks will hold heat from the sun and they'll hold heat for a while it might be a thing where we have to wait tonight let the sun go down let the rocks cool off and it's a 400 pound animal if he's laying dead within a mile of here we'll, we'll have him no doubt it's just a matter of these rocks cooling down i mean it's middle of the day so struggling what the heck no, man. Here's the rest of that dude's horn. Was this just laying on the ground right there? Mm. What? Oh shit. Could have shot that one put them back together, eh? <laughs> oh, oh, one horn, oh, one horn is a nice trophy. I don't know how they react, but if it was a white tail in the rut, I'd be like, okay, no shot, and he's not wanting to leave her or something. But dude, I'm about to put another bullet in it, even when they hit the ground. This is twice now. We've had them dead on the ground. They got up and ran as we were going to. I mean, it sounds like it was a good shot. You should have heard the thud from when we shot and it was on the cliff side. That thud when I hit it. Oh my gosh. It yeah. echoed. If we had to I come back tonight, it'd probably be all right in terms of meat. The days are short enough Austin. here. I hear somebody rewatching some footage in here. Kirk, what happened, buddy? I'm not sure. Can we put it on Final Cut Pro? Yeah. Oh, well, you can see you can, this. Uh, so what? What did you shoot? A red hearted beast. How was the shot? What did you? Win? We're not sure. I shot a Gims buck. And you got it. Well, we don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got it yet. yet. Where did you hit it? So I just watched the footage back. I 
smoked it. Don't know why he's still walking. And so I got two shots in his chest. Don't what? know why he's walking. Three. The third was far back when he was running. Well, he's 100% dead. He's got to be. Yeah, he's dead. I mean, there, there's no way we don't find him tonight. No, we're fine. I'm, I'm about to show you all yeah. the footage. Let, let's check out your stuff real quick. How far was the shot? 320. You can just yeah, hit low, this button. Low, low. Right Dave on the shoulder. See it. I thought it was low right. I thought it was low right, yeah, too. Yeah. There's a vapor though. See how he stomachs? I don't know. Maybe just a little low. The, your left and right looked solid. Yeah. Did you shoot again? Oh, oh yeah. There. These are misses. Yeah. Uh, over. I get a good shot here though. So you shot three times at yours too. Absolutely. Same here. <laughs> now? Yeah, I got this one. <laughs> Low. No. Oh, no. way low. low. He just low. shook low. it off. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it almost hit him in the hand. Yeah. Yeah, that was hot. Uh, that was right. over its back. The first shot looks like it hit it. The first one. Did y'all get any blood or anything? No. no. I need everybody's opinions. <laughs> yeah, let's watch this. I've watched this a few times. I feel like it looks back, and then I'll really go frame by frame, and the, where it looks like it impacts is right behind the shoulder. This was the first shot. Can you zoom in? Uh, can we put it in your computer? Can you zoom yeah. in? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Does that not look good? Yeah. Just, just a little back? Yeah, a little, no. little back. Oh, oh it's down. Yeah. Below the blue. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little higher. No, it's you uh, see that? Right there? Right. Uh, right. Uh, Lower. Yeah. Lower. 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 Okay. Okay. Lower. 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 Uh, is there another shot? Yeah, there's one of them running, but that one wasn't that good. I don't know if it touched them or not. Yeah, that was yeah, right behind them. That, that's fallback. Is so it? you hit the stomach, so it's... Well, I was thinking shooting him behind the shoulder, but I guess if I would have aimed for the shoulder, I would have been but fine. in the binos, it looked like he pulled up his arm. Yeah. You see it again. If you, you want to yeah. go in that crease, just on the left side of that crease, it makes... You bad. see that, that hair kicker right there? No. I guess yeah. that's... You can see it in the stomach. Definitely, there's the impact. There's yes, but that, that bullet really hits him, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it literally shakes Oh, it crushed hole. him. But huh. I think you take the drone in there and like find it. Well, I shot him again. If he's dead. People, I shot him at like 150, and I'm telling you, it's like when you shoot a deer through the shoulders, lights out. Let's, get, eat. Yeah. Let's get some breakfast. Oh, We're going to go look for that deer tonight. Hungry? After we hunt. It is time for our evening hunt. I don't know. We might try to put Bree on a spring buck or me run and try to get my Eland. Got our shooting sticks fixed. So I'm going to show you guys these things in this video here in a little bit, but a lot more stable. Should be able to shoot out the 300. Having just the front sticks, pretty hard. We're going to hit the road, see what we can go get on. So what is that? Pop it up. Can I catch it? No. No. That is crazy. You can kill it. You want to kill it? And then we can chase David with it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could do like a snake skin with it, huh? How big is that thing? I can't tell how big it is. It's ready to strike. See, the tongue is now. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. He's ready. And a puff head is a very, very lazy snake. But if you come close to it, it's one of the fastest strikers. Are they a rare snake? Y'all see them often? No, that's a most common snake. Are they poisonous? Yes. No shit. When what's it called? A puff adder. Puff adder. That'd make for a cool snake skin. Nobody in the states have ever seen something like that. What's going on, Mike? So I just uh, I just took the drone off. Um, my camera's still rolling over there. Way down there, can, I don't know if you can see Landon with this lens, but he's way down there. I just took my gun down there. Actually, crap, I gotta run down there. I wanna go take a picture. Problem is, I'll be down there and I gotta fly the drone back up. Actually, okay, so let's talk about this. There's gonna be more batteries. When I bring the kudu back up here, you have to unhook and then move it to the side and then I gotta land it. I can it. swap it. Yeah, and then swap it. And them back down yeah. yeah that is nuts <laughs> how far was he um 180 150 oh, shit. Boot, dude shot him twice nail him twice would not go down. no way would not go down it looks like we got a little bit of a landing spot right here for mike to bring the carcass up i think they're splitting it into two should be interesting flying out a kudu how crazy i think they're flying the gun up here first so we're just waiting on that no we'll go get the bull <laughs> So 
since it's dark, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this foam light facing straight up right where his camera needs to sit. That way he can land and not have to worry about all what's going on around. Doing a battery swap real quick. So they're picking that meat up all the way down in that bottom. What a beautiful animal. Okay, pick it up, pick it up. What a rib cage. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Whole kudu bull out. I mean, that is a can. Cameras don't do it justice, but that is way the heck down there. What, 400 pound kudu? I think you're probably the only one that got bloody. <laughs> I thought I'm going to be blood free today, but it looks like I still have to carry the thing out there. Well guys, we are back out at the scene of the accident this morning. We're going to take the thermal drone up and see if we can find them. It's just so crazy. Like, okay, maybe that first shot was a little back, but I mean, he crumpled on that, that third shot. So it's like, I don't know. Mike, what do you think? Let's do it. Let's do it. It worked last night. See if it works again. I feel awful, dude. <laughs> it happens. It happens, that's for sure. But hopefully we can find this thing. Yeah. This hill face was the first to get sunlight this morning, meaning it was the last to get sunlight this evening. So it should be pretty cool on this mountainside. Hopefully the rocks aren't too big of an issue. And now we pray for good thermals. Yeah, they're good. We're good? Yep. Heck yeah. So basically what Mike's doing with this thermal drone is he's flying it around. He's looking for any heat signatures. Yes, he'll pick up live animals, but he's flying high enough. They don't even know he's there. And once he finds a heat signature that looks like it could be the animal that you shot, then we can hit it with a spotlight from the drone, switch the cameras, and we can see exactly what it is. Shoot a GPS coordinates to it. Go straight to it. That's a ride. <laughs> I see one. Oh, is that monkeys or? Oh, I see them. Look small as. They, they're small. Yeah, they went into the bush. Up nice till they're back up. Okay. Well, actually, I'll get them right here. For sure. Yeah. Damn, they're small. Yeah, no, they're very small. Damn. Did you eat it? I'm not sure. <laughs> A good 200 yards, 250 on a small animal like this. Oh my goodness. What a good wrestle, dude. I've never seen a monkey before. A little on the bloody side on the back side, but uh, check that dude out. Look at that. A little monkey. Is that not crazy? Come get a close up on him. Check that out. <laughs> Look at his little hands. I didn't know they were so small. Now, this is still a young one. They'll get a bird bigger. But take a look at his hands. His thumbs and fingers and nails. That's uh, crazy. Got that. Let's go. Well guys, we're about to go on a ride in the back of the Bucky. That's what they call these things. We got the 308 ready. We think we're gonna let Bree shoot something. What are we oh, doing tonight? Yeah. We getting uh, we getting dinner? Yeah. This is a dinner hunt right here. <laughs> but basically what we're gonna do is ride around, try to spot, I guess, a, a nice spring buck and uh, we'll be able to shoot from a longer distance from up here and be far enough away where they shouldn't, shouldn't try to get away from the truck. That way, everyone's got something to eat at night. We wanna eat a spring buck. We donated the rest of the meat to all the workers from the other spring buck. So we're gonna try to get one more to eat tonight. Bree, you ready to kill your first oh, African animal? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You think you can shoot? Hopefully. Hopefully, you're just gonna have to rest the gun, get a nice solid rest, sure. all right? Let's go for a lap and see what we come across. See those right there, Bree? Yes. Yeah, get on them. Look through the scope and get on them. Don't shoot the one on the rig. Well, I guess you're good. There's nothing back there. It doesn't look like. Which one are you taking? I moved. Stay on that one. There's one on top of the ridge. You see that one on top of the ridge to the left? You see him? I think he's just sitting there looking at us. Yeah, he's just sitting there looking at us on the top of the ridge. More left than what the original one was. Good whenever you are, just squeeze. Just make sure you squeeze. Take that safety off. Just gotta squeeze through, put it on the shoulder. Yeah, Bree. 
Let's go. <laughs> we got nailed in the face. Oh, you got, you got scoped? You smoked them, Bree. First African animal. Well done. Got old monkey I off the top of the bucky. Bree absolutely smoked the monkey. Good yeah. shot, Bree. Thanks. 200 yards. 200 yards? Oh, yeah. He was, he was sitting there trying to figure out what was going on. I mean, there's probably 15, 20 monkeys, and uh, that one stayed and looked a little too long. The other ones got out of Dodge. Got it? Three. Your first ever monkey. First animal. Good shot, Bree. Thanks. You said these things will come into your room and take your stuff oh, if you leave the door steal open. Your food, they take your money. No way. And they'll let you see them and they will <laughs> fall into the door. <laughs> no way. That is crazy. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. That is wild. All right, guys, we're going to run this thing back to the truck and uh, we're going to continue our lap around to see if we can't get a spring buck and uh, feed everybody tonight with it. We are cooking the monkey, so we'll take them back, get them cleaned up, and we'll see what happens on the rest of this ride. One thing about Africa, other than like the terrain being so freaking crazy, everything's sharp, everything's hard, and all the private ground's actually fenced in. But it's not like pin hunting back in the States because this is 10,000 freaking acres. It is hard to imagine imagine how much ground but yesterday evening i told him i was like look let's not really even really go hunting i want to see this place i want to get an understanding of what's going on here and uh sounds like they do bring in breeder bucks but since they do bring in breeder bucks they keep tags in their ear so technically none of this game we're shooting has has been touched by humans in a sense only the parents have and so if you see a tag in an animal's ear you know we know that's a breeder we're not shooting it and that's just to keep it more legit in a sense these fences they keep the poachers out it keeps the animals safe and uh on 10,000 freaking acres pretty insane but to be able to come out here and go with a godson service like this on a 10,000 acre ranch and be able to come to Africa safely, pretty cool. You get to experience the culture. Right now we're experiencing uh, meat hunting. So that's what today's video is about. But we're out here looking for a common spring buck. I shot a copper, now we're trying to get a common and they are very smart. But being we're on this truck rig, we can shoot a lot further and uh, get some meat for tonight. So, so far we've seen two groups of spring bucks and they're 350 yards away from the truck and they booked it. I had no clue flying into Africa how the hunting was gonna be. I was terrified it was gonna be like high fence back in America, but it's not. At least these guys aren't. There's four or five ledgeways about 300 yards. Oh, there's some more. They fell just over the ridge. Yep, they're over the ridge. They're grunting and chasing, so they're not too too concerned with us. One's a freaking stud. That looks like a group of females right there. Wondering where that big bull went. Was it bull or ram? It's a bull. Bull, okay. Yeah. Oh, there he is. I don't know if that's the big one or not. But if, if we were out walking trophy hunting, I'd probably smack them. Walking on foot, these animals, just like back home in America, are way more afraid of somebody walking than somebody driving. So it is easier out of the truck. Typically, they're not getting shot at out of the truck unless they're meat hunting. But if we see them when we're out and about, I have to take one. You got Bree? This box. That's a blessed buck. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty sweet. So this is a female blessed buck, apparently. Pretty cool. Gonna keep riding around and see if we can't find a group of spring bucks that'll give us a shot. Here, get on the gun, Bree. You need to load one in. Just, just stay ready. Damn, that's a huge group of spring bucks. They are dipping out of here, though. They damn sure are scared of the truck. They are dipping. Yeah, they won't want nothing to do with it. This is not working very well. They are not letting us inside 400 yards. Might have to whip out and do a spot stock. All right, Barry, put it on its back. The only big ones are copper and black ram. Damn. Yo, that's a very common one. You see the to black the right? one? You see the black one? Yeah. Oh, there they're moving, but you saw that one. Yeah. Just in front of it. Yeah, I seen it. Oh, maybe gonna take a chance just to drive a little bit forward. But, oh, look to the left here. Wait, wait, that common one might be there. It looks like it. You see that copper one? There's a common one right behind it. It looks like yeah. it has a big set of horns. Can you see it? Yeah, but turn the other way. Yeah, 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 yeah that's a nice common one. This is 218 yards. 218. So just take it above the shoulder. Yeah, just aim a little high, not much. Yeah, it's just the copper is protecting him now. Mm -hmm. But if those two coppers walk a bit forward, yo, that's a nice common rev. It looks good, yeah. yeah that's does. a good one. That's a big one. This one will get out of the way. Yeah, that common one looks like it's turning. That's yeah, it's turning. It's gonna turn. Oh, that very get ready. Okay. Dang yeah. it. It's gonna come. It's gonna come right into this opening. It's coming, it's coming. There it is. It's gonna stand, it's gonna stand now. Behind a tree. Oh, for yeah, me. you can take it. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. There it is again. Stand, 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 stand. Those just went back right. Those are fine. Oh, they're going all There's back right. There's a common one. 
Dang it. It's okay. It's so close. Yeah, it was close. Yeah, yeah. It's the third one now, right? It's turning. Just turning. Right. If this one gets out of the way. You can take it with that proper one. Yep. Can I shoot it? Squeeze, Bree. If you see the shoulder, you can take it. Just a little. Nice, Bree. Let's go. Nice. Let's freaking go. It's down. <laughs> yes. This brush right here worked perfect. Oh, oh my goodness. So cool. Good job. What do you guys say, girl? That's so cool. Second African animal, I guess. Se second shot, second animal dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that one's getting up. <laughs> that took a little while to make happen right there. I mean, the sun's already up and blazing. I can't wait to taste this thing. You excited to eat them, girl? Oh, yeah. This smells like the ass smells like cotton candies. Okay, this is very beautiful for spring buck. Uh-huh. Just stick your nose in there. Go on, Bree. I promise you, I'm not lying. It's a sweet smell. It is a sweet smell. No way. Are you serious? Look how, look how beautiful it looks. Oh, yeah, that it's one's so gorgeous. Beautiful. Right on the shoulder. Yeah, you drilled them, Bree. That's right where you want it. That is awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So, catch and cook monkey, catch and cook spring buck. Let's go. I am ready to eat tonight. So, what is this? In Afrikaans, in English, I don't know what That's it is. That's not a tail? No, it's a pronk. What's a okay. pronk? That, what it's doing. It, uh, what? Like a... I thought it was its tail. That actually smells really good. Well, guys, we're going to get some photos of this thing and uh, go get them back at the truck. Load them up, head to the lodge, and see what the guys got. So we're pulling up to the skin and shed to get this thing prepped for tonight. That baboon was in this field. They tear up the alfalfa fields and the farmers hate them. Baboons are uh, like pigs back in the U.S. Sling some lead. They catch the small sheep. They catch and eat sheep? Small ones, the babies. The babies? Like a coyote or something. Yeah, not a lot, but they do. Too. Yeah. I had no clue. They're vicious. I've heard plenty of stories on the baboons about how they could rip somebody apart. Well, we're about to load back up in the bucky. We got the gun. We are headed out for our evening hunt. Be interesting to see what happens this evening. We're gonna be looking for Elon, which is a huge animal. Hopefully we can find one. Let's get this gun in the truck. You ready? Ready. Let's run it. Come on. The back one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Lost him. See if you can see something. Oh, I see something moving down, big bush. Okay, just keep it. I'm gonna keep that area. That is a f massive critical. I shot him in the shoulder. Do you want to walk down there and me guide you in? Yeah, I don't have my radio thing in there. Wait, see him? I see him. You see him? The same one. I don't know if it's the same one or Does not. It have massive horns. I can't tell. He was right where I seen the last one. You see him? You see him? Right where I shot him last time? I don't know if it's the same one or a different one. It's right above that now, I believe. I'm shook up. That happened way too fast. I'll show you with this shot. Did it feel good? I felt like I put it right in the shoulder. Behind the shoulder. I put it in the because shoulder. it was quartering away, so you should have shot it a bit behind. Yeah. I hope so. Brayden, that's a mess. So right after I shot, it looked like a big, a lot of brush crashed. So go left of those aloes. You see that big bush? Yeah. Right on the right side of that, it looked like there's a big crash. But then after a little while, the little buck came out from in there. So you didn't see the big one? I didn't see. Okay, maybe There's only up. one. If you saw one, because they were two together. If you saw one, it was a small one. I'm almost certain it's lying maybe in the brush there. Because I seen one come back up and start going up right, almost where those cows walk. So we're working up this mountain and he stops and we're just glassing down through this bottom. And he's like, Brady, get out, get out, get out. So I jump out, no clue what's going on, no cameras running, freaking get up here. And I finally spot them in the brush and there's two of them. Seen the big one and I put it right in the shoulder, right behind his shoulder. I mean, that wasn't even far. How far is that? Oh, uh, it's 200 yards. After that gims buck, it makes me want to puke. No, no, don't worry. worry. What the shot look like through your, your scope? <laughs> Binoculars, no clue? No, he pulled up his leg. Yeah. It looked like a good shot. It that couldn't have been the bull that I watched walked out because he was walking yeah. fine. Otherwise, if he wasn't walking fine, I would have put another bullet in him. I think he's laying right where I watched him crash. So. All them kudu I watched, they weren't hitting brush, yeah, pushing maybe, brush. Yeah, it was like they were slithering the down through there. Up. Those two bulls go towards that tree, I guess, because the other one was. Looks like a crash okay, there. Two oh, minutes later, it looks like a bull walks out alone. But I was wrong on my gims buck, so now I'm freaked. Oh, this is how we shot him. He was way down there. Look at the scenery. Absolutely insane. So you're about positive you watched both bulls go the same direction. Same direction. Because if he crashed, that bull hung out for a second, trying to figure out what's going on, then walked off. Yes. 
Okay. So if you saw that crash, I am almost certain it's lying not a few, not far away. So I'm just waiting. He's walking. The track is walking to where the buck is, and I'm okay. gonna okay. explain to him where. It's been about 20, 25 minutes. The first tracker is arriving. We're gonna guide him into that tree where we shot him. Hopefully, there's blood. If not, we'll circle the tree where I saw the crash. You did all in You told you don't have to all in I like the effort. Look at this place. You gave him a cigarette. But I hear the oven bed I bought when I oven outside. Yeah. Well, we are about to head back to the lodge. From the way they walked, I don't think they're on the right track. So they found a little bit of blood, nothing crazy. So we're going to head out of here. We got it, this place marked to a T. We're going to meet up with the guys back at the lodge, get the drone, use the thermals. I'm hoping I'm still right and on where I think he's laying. We're just going to go from there. Feels awful leaving, but what can you do? It's about to get really dark on us and we don't have a drone. So back to the lodge. Let's go see everybody. <laughs> did you hear about what happened with me? I did. Well, a little bit. A little I bit. shot a giant kudu really are they saying that it's probably one of the biggest off this farm no way i don't know what happened we got to go look for it okay i don't know if y'all want to hang out stay here yeah yeah when they told me what you shot i, I know go with okay we're gonna crush dinner real quick yeah, yeah, and go yeah. get after this kudu how confident are you mike 100 percent. yeah yeah and the drone or, or finding them in the drone yeah me too <laughs> In the drone, 100%. Yeah, if it's there, we were going to find it. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm hoping, where, I think he crashed where I saw the brush shake. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, monster. That, that, you're a, isn't that him? That's a big kudu, huh? Well, it, what's this in the back right here? That's a shot, isn't it? Definitely not. Right here? Huh? Yes. Can you move? That's a shot, then. Definitely not. You see not. how he's oh. How is that not a shot? Move a bit forward, fly, fly forward. Like that this really one. does look like a... That looks like a shot. Though. There's no yeah. way I you, hit him that far back. You see but how, you see how he's just standing there? That's a shot. Like, he should be moving. That's a shot. Then. Yo, he's hurting. Look, look how slow he's, he's moving. Hurt. That's it. That's a shot. There's no way I hit him far back like that. Brayden, that's, that's, that's a shot. shot. That's a shot. Then. That's a shot. Okay. You can, well, you can see there's an entry or exit. He was that, yeah, that's, that's a shot. That's a shot. That's it. That's a Mursa Kudu Headed back to the house. There's nothing we can do. We gotta go back to the house and come back in the morning and uh, it check it. So it we'll see y'all at like four in the morning. Mike, how you feeling this morning? Feeling really good. It's up early, aren't we? Up early again. That's what we do here in South. <laughs> we're actually getting the truck tire changed. We got a flat when we were going after that kudu. We we're having to back off the mountain, back down the mountain. Sketchy. But uh, I'll tell you what, last night I didn't film much. Everybody was talking, discussing, and I was tore up. So we're hoping he's dead. We found him. His ears were drooping. His eyes were glazed over. Shot was really far back. Might need that. Thank you very much. But uh, we're gonna go in there. Mike's not going hunting this morning. He said, look, I'll come fly the drone. We'll check to see if he's still there. And uh, hopefully he is expired by now. Mike, you must be confident. I am confident. You got the egg drone loaded up. You said you're gonna fly him out, huh? Yep. Yeah, like don't, like don't quarter, quarter him up and fly him out yep. if we find him. You wanna carry your head though, right? I mean, I can. Yeah. Uh, if, well, if, if he's it, there. If it's too heavy for him, uh -huh. he's stronger than that, right? I don't know. I don't know how big this thing is, honestly. If you can't carry the head, I'll fly it out. Yeah, me. we'll but, see. We'll but. see. Guys, I think we're hopping in the truck, getting ready to go. Mike's pretty confident after what he's seen. We've kind of, everybody's had mixed emotions. We're just going to have to uh, get there, fly the thermal drone and see where he's at. And crossing my fingers, he is down, out for the count. Do have a rifle just in case. So we're working back in here, running over all these rocks, trying to get closer to where he was. If he's not there, I mean, he's probably alive and he's moved further out. We're gonna try to get a little bit closer before we take this drone off to see if he's there. Let's hop out and uh, wait for Mike to get here with the drone. All right, Mike, what are you thinking, bud? Glad you joined the party. I'm very confident. I'm very glad the drone's here. Yeah. Very, very glad. What, what are you thinking, Robert? Think he's dead? I'm up for Benny? I'm positive. I don't know, it was cold last night. Uh huh. It was a good shot. Uh, I think he might've went down. Bree. Yeah. What's your guess? Um, I think he's dead. I'm having a lot of mixed emotions. I don't know. It was a rough well, night last night. All right, here we go. Launch her up. There she goes. Fingers freaking crossed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so when he you... was right in this opening when we seen him. More nervous now than last night. Me too, actually. I can't go like this. <laughs> 
What's going on with the thermals? Is he under? Dude, he cooled off that fast. He cooled fast. off? You see him right So there? he might have died early last night. They walked in there and he was laying where he last was, but oh my gosh, I gave up hope. So there's the trackers right there and the bulls right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just, oh my gosh, man. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Yeah. Let's go. I feel like I'm about to puke and I didn't even Why have any breakfast to puke up. We're gonna try to drive up closer to see if uh, we can get as close to him as possible. All right, we're gonna go get this thing and uh, cape him out. Got a long walk. Let's go. See the drone so we know exactly where to walk. We just gotta walk up this freaking mountain. It doesn't look too far, but the drone always is deceiving. This is some thick, thick terrain. This is kudus prime territory. And these fences, even on this 10,000 acre ranch, these kudus can clear and jump it. So they're actually 100% free range. 100%. There's kudu all over the roads last night because they'd jump the fence and hang out in the road. Whenever they wanted to back in, they'd jump back over. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Look at that thing. That is insane. That thing is massive. You weren't kidding about them curls. Oh guys, check this thing out. These curls are freaking nuts though. Like those are deep curls. My goodness. Look at the size of the ears. Absolutely crazy. Beautiful, beautiful animal. They call these the great ghost of Africa. And my goodness, they've, they've been ghosts. No doubt, at least for me. But uh, these horns, they have such deep spirals to them. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But we're gonna get some pictures of this thing real quick. Cape them out. Mike's gonna fly them out with the drone. And cording this thing out. I was actually gonna carry the cape and head out but apparently i'm allergic to it a lot like a white-tailed deer I've told the story a million times perfectly fine clean deer my whole life turned 20 years old and since then i've been allergic we're just gonna fly the head out instead of trying to pack it out it's not the craziest thing you've ever seen this thing's the size of an elk and we're about to fly it out with a drone that's crazy all right first piece the biggest piece has made it down there Much lighter load. So I had to split the hind quarters, but uh, two more trips won't take five minutes and we're good to walk out of here. Just like that, a giant kudu bull in the brushy mountains. Out within an hour and a half. Making my trek is lazy. I don't want to carry animals in. That is unreal. We're going to start walking out of here. We ain't got nothing to carry. We're rolling in. We're after an eland. This is a big, big animal. The biggest. What is it? 1,500 pounds. That, thousand. 1,500 pound animal. The biggest out here. Are we gonna get one? I don't know. Yesterday when we got the kudu, we're just gonna go on a scenic tour. Yo, let's uh, just skip it at scenic tours. Let's just go up to the top of the mountain and just, you know, look at the sunset, I guess. <laughs> That's a female. Yeah, it's big. A big female? Oh, that was a big female. I was about to say, because that thing looked huge. Yeah, that's a big female. <laughs> like, my goodness, seeing, I've, I haven't seen one closer than a thousand yards. Last on the side of this mountain, so right now it's winter time. It's the rut over here in Africa. We just seen that big female. Odds are she wasn't alone. Question is, where'd she go? Where's your boyfriend? Yeah. How far away are they when we see them? So it might be a long stalk. Sound like one of the hardest to kill. I think so. Cow Eland up here. Oh, that's definitely. definitely. Yeah. If you zoom in with that, the other camera, you will be able to see. Yeah. Just next to those big trees. Yeah, but they can I can't believe how big their horns are. Even the females. I've never seen an Eland female on its own. Not only if it was a big bull, I'd put it in between the eyes. There it goes. Oh, that's yeah, it. Mm -hmm. Man, that thing's cool. That's a big cow. Huh? That is a big cow. There's two that cows. Is, oh, there's two? There's two now. Oh, shit. That one's smaller. Two cows. That's crazy. This is my first real look at a 
Zealand. If one of those were a bull, we would oh my gosh. the drone in again. This couldn't be any better, like, yes, in terms standing. of shooting. Yeah, I've been lucky and unlucky. This I time. have been lucky and unlucky. I've definitely ha I've had luck, and then bad luck would smack it. This is luck, but there's no bull. That's a young bull. The left-hand one is a bull, yeah, it's just a, a young it's bull? a young, young bull. Okay. That's yeah, so that might be his, that's a young bull. his, his girlfriend up there with him. No, I think that's, that's the calf. Oh, really? Said, yeah. Wow. No, that's still a small bull. That okay. small? Holy shit. That's why he's letting us look at him, because he's stupid. But we're seeing them. Yeah. Next time we're shooting them. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hop back in the truck, keep yeah. riding around, and see what we can see. That's cool. Well, guys, the Eland hunt continues. We're actually on a new farm. I mean, we have a lot of ground to cover. Hopefully, we spot one in a place where we can actually sneak in and get a shot. It's definitely not going to be easy. These are big animals, and uh, hopefully, this 300 Win Mac gets it done. And hopefully, we can get inside 400 yards, 300 yards, 300 yards preferably on the inside of that. Who knows? You know, there's a lot of stuff can happen in this type of spot and stock hunt. So, it's going to roll with it. It's the last big animal we're after. So we found a group of Eland. They're in that valley right there. I'm not sure how we're gonna get to them. Hopefully we can get close enough. Yeah, they, they they standing still. But this is just the start. We've been looking for them for a while. Finally found some. Now the hard part starts. We're gonna try to circle around, get to where they're going and watch the wind and uh, see if we can't make it happen. All right guys, I'm about to sneak up. I think we're about 500 yards away. Try to close the distance. We can close another 200, 300. We're in shooting range. Those are big boys. That's our guy right there. Still at 530 yards. There is a bunch oh, on the yeah. side of this space. The same group that we got on top of, 150 yards. Again, had this bull in the scope, 350 yards. Just never, this brush is so thick, never got a chance to shoot. Three miles later, three chances, <coughs> no bullet shot. Let's go get dinner. It's the next morning, everybody's getting up to hunt. Yesterday evening, we had a lot of chances at some very nice Eland. This one right here is the main target. He's got a big black face, looks like an absolute giant. There is another bull in that group that is absolutely huge, but we're gonna get in there. We're gonna try to get it done. We had a lot of chances yesterday. Hopefully we can spot and stalk and get in like we did yesterday to around 200 yards. We were so close. We're getting in the truck. We're gonna see if we can't kill one this morning. I'm gonna sneak in here and uh, try to get it done. Hopefully we can make it happen. I've seen a big wall. Water butt coming in here and that thing was huge. So. Uh, he's Elon a lot bigger. So. Uh, you ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm Let's ready. do it. Sneak in here and see what we can make happen. I 
Africa? No, people back home when they think about Africa, and I heard this a lot, they think it's shooting pinned animals. I'm sure in some places there is that, but not here. Where'd they go? <laughs> Who knows? We seen the, the one with the black face and whew, that that's him. We actually had a chance at a few water bucks on the stock. Big water bucks, but there's such a variety of animals. I'm not trying to be as opportunistic for say and trying to really just hammer down on what we're out here for. We'll see what happens. Day two, brother. Wait, no. It's like day four. Day three, brother. Four? Is it three or four? I don't know. Robert! What? Is it day three or four on the Eland? Day three. Hopefully we can get them this morning. We stayed up a little late last night, had a good time. Always party with your PHs. Now we're gonna go kill this thing. We hope. Wish us luck. We found them. Okay, they came down a little lower. Are they down there in the flats? Yeah. Oh, I was not yeah, expecting them to be in the flats. Well, it looks like the group we found is not the group with blackface. It just looks like a couple of Eland down there. There's like some spring bucks around them as That's well, it. but not the ones we're after. We gotta find a big group. We're hunting that specific one. Day three, tomorrow's our last day. Ooh. We're not stopping until we get them. Are we shooting? On scene, on scene. At the Eland, so you see you on the window. There's another one to the left. Yeah. One right below it, too. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's three. Well, we've just rolled up on three. Looks like a young bull and two cows. Hoping a couple more jump up out the brush. Gotta find blackface. We got three trucks out here scouting, trying to find them. Bree, what do you got? Monkey. Monkey on a plate. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, you already know our shenanigans, but no one else does. You're the first one that's gonna eat it. I'm the first that's gonna eat it. Leon, you're gonna get yourself a bite. Nay. Nay? You're telling me you've never tried it? Monkey. Yeah. No, I wasn't that poor yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, the monkey is going on the griddle. We're gonna make sure it's very, very well cooked, and then we're gonna give it to everybody, and hopefully they like it. You wanna try it first? <laughs> Before I you, can find everybody you else. You do. Did you mix it with anything? Yeah, just a little bit of fat. A little fat? It's not the best taste. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rip your off, he's fine. Should we, though, be eating a monkey? And he said it's his cousin. It is, it do you think I carry any diseases? Because I, I already ate one piece. <laughs> or ate a bite. I hope oh, maybe, hey, maybe, you get a bite. Maybe wait 15 on. minutes and then I'll try. That, what kind of piece is that? How's the monkey? No. Good, very good. Good. <laughs> it's good. I can tell you. Should we go shoot face. some more tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ship them out to you guys. <laughs> I'll try it. He, he, he was not too convincing. What is with these tiny bites? It's ground monkey. It's gotta be good monkey. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go see what Kirk thinks? Yeah. Let's go. We're doing a catch and cook. What do we have here? Kudu. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 Ever had kudu before? Yeah. 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 I've had it before. It's, yeah. It's good. That's good, man. <laughs> you really liked it. It was great. It's monkey. It's not kudu. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I told you. You told him? I told him that it wasn't kudu. <laughs> I thought he was messing with me. <laughs> so, now your thoughts? Were you just just trying to be nice or what? No, it was better than what I expected. But yeah? I don't think It's I'll... ground monkey. I think there's some sheep fat in here. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm. I'm Nah. No, I, I, now that I know what it is, I probably wouldn't need it. Johnny boy! I didn't tell Kirk until after he ate it. Will you try it? Yes. Yeah? Get yeah. you a little piece. It's good monkey. It's ground like hamburger type monkey. On a scale of one to 10, what would you rate it for ground monkey? It's not good, but it's not as bad as I thought monkey would be. <laughs> so on the scale of like m monkey meat, it's an eight out of 10. No shit. But on a scale of meat period, yeah. It's a two. Never mind then. <laughs> well, it was fun while it lasted. I don't think you should be eating monkey. Well, we're gonna go to bed. We gotta get up in the morning. We got some more hunting to do. Let's see what we can get into. Well guys, the guys have found the Eland. It's the next day. Day three or four. And uh, they've spotted them. So we're about to go see where they're at. Well, we just got here with all the guys. How far is that? 800, 900 yards? Let's see. 800 yards on the other mountain. Uh, try to spot them and see what we should do. So we're gonna sit here, we're in a glass, see if we can pick out Blackface. He's up there with them. We'll roll. I'm waiting for how did, how did, how are they here that we didn't see them yesterday? Well, we're making a move. 
We got a thousand yards to walk up the mountain in hopes to get a shot, but black face is there. So we're gonna try it. Come here. The one on the left. Oh, far left? left? This one left, wait. Do you know right? There's not the left face. Shoot him in the rock. Over here. Where are you going? He's there. Come here, come here. My mouth yeah, is so dry. Yeah, yeah. They just came out running out of the brushes. No shooting sticks. Just freehand them running. I couldn't find them in the scope. That really? was the biggest issue. Is I couldn't find them in the scope on six power. He's too f***ing big. I'm gonna try to get the drone up. Try to find them. See where I hit them. If I hit them. Another one of those just wacko scenarios. See if we can get down off this mountain and figure out what happened. Well, guys, we are back from Africa, and I really just I gotta take this moment to tell you guys about Africa. I had no clue what I was walking into, and now seeing it, it was unbelievable. Hands down, one of the funnest and coolest trips I've ever got to do. Big shout out and thank you to Hooks Fontaine. They took care of us like you would not believe. They're actually offering you guys like 10% off. I'll have the code or whatever link in the description for Hooks Fontaine. But I want to tell you guys a little bit about what to expect and what you're going to experience going to Africa because I had no clue. I got invited on this trip through Mike and I was like, okay, I'm going. I've always wanted to go. We got a group of guys going now and I'm not missing out on it. Now, one of my biggest fears was, and I think a lot of people's fear is, is going to Africa. Everyone, there's so many misconceptions about Africa. You know, you're shooting fenced animals. They're not wild. It's, it's super easy so on and so forth and then you also got people telling you how dangerous it is because they heard a story from a friend of a friend that went and just had a bad experience and this that and the fourth i'm telling you hooks fontaine know how to thank them enough because they took care of us like you won't believe when i say everybody there got treated like royalty i actually mean they got treated like royalty they kept us safe the 100 of the time literally was not worried about a thing i mean going to another country a country you've never been before with a language you don't speak you really got to have somebody that can take Take care of you and they took care of us like you would not believe we were safe 100% of the time you have nothing to worry about if you book with these guys and on top of them making sure we're safe and fed and everything we need was taken care of they were awesome I mean awesome awesome people but I mean I've never been pampered to like they pampered us my entire life I mean we would get done imagine this we we're hunting the safari of Africa we come back they already got the fire rolling they got the chefs working up the dinner we just walk out there sit around the fire they start bringing you out drinks drinks, snacks, everybody's hanging out, just waiting on this awesome dinner. Everything they cooked for us was absolutely amazing. And I mean, they, they literally just treated us like royalty. Learning the culture and seeing everything was, was honestly, uh, to me, as enjoyable as the actual hunting. Now, the hunting was great. It was awesome. It was fun. But being able to see, you know, that third world country over there and getting to experience everything and see everything, I mean, it was unbelievable. I mean, us Americans are so ignorant to all these other countries, but I'm telling you, like, it was crazy. Like, Robert, my God, he knew everything down to the Taco Bell dollar menu. Like, when I say they know so much about us as Americans, they do. Getting into politics with those guys over there and stuff, it was it was crazy to see, you know, the effect that our country has on their country and how us Americans are so ignorant and so blind and and, and don't know anything about these other countries when, when they know so much about us. I guess America being a superpower in this world, I mean, they seriously, you know, what happens over here affects them. But besides that, and besides getting treated like royalty, the hunting, man, it, it was not fenced in bull crap. They do bring in breeder bucks, breeder animals, but they're all got tags in their ears. You know what you're shooting has not been touched by man. Everything we killed was born and raised there. Now the ranches we were hunting, they say all private ground in Africa is fenced. We were hunting a 10,000 acre ranch, a 5,000 acre ranch, but I know they got ranches of like 30,000 
thousand acres. Let's take the smallest ranch we hunted, five thousand acres. I have a pretty insane track record of hunting here in America, and in terms of private ground, I can go hunt. I might have three thousand acres to hunt across the entire country, where their smallest ranch was five thousand acres. A huge concern of mine was definitely that it was going to be hunting like fenced bull crap. It wasn't like that at all. You know, when I first pulled in, the first three days, I was freaking hell bent on like trying to figure out exactly what was going on. And you know, I was I was, I was passing animals just because it just didn't feel right. And so I ended up having Robert, my PH, my God, they call the, the God's PH is pro hunters and then you got the trackers. I told him, I said, hey, look, this evening, we uh, let's just drive around. I want you to show me this place. And you know, once we topped a mountain and I could actually realize what we were hunting, it was unbelievable. Luckily that evening, Mike killed a kudu and that's when we got to fly his kudu up out of the canyon. But that's when my eyes opened up and I realized, I'm like, holy cow, this is some serious shit. Once he drove me around and I seen everything, you know, it really took my nerve off that I was, you know, shooting fenced animals because yeah, there's a fence, but it's a 10 thousand acre ranch. We hunted eland. Eland are like a thousand to 1500 pound animals that herd in like groups of 20. We hunted them on the 5,000 acre ranch. We hunted them for three or four days straight and there were days on the 5,000 acre ranch. We could not find them. It was coming close to the end of the trip and we would get three trucks out there. Three separate trucks driving around, people walking and looking, trying to find these things and literally it is 20 1,000 pound animals on 5,000 acres and we could not find Find them. I mean, we dang near about gave up on them because they just like they they disappeared. Now, I think a lot of the misconception with you know it being fenced bull crap is because when people do go to Africa and there are guide services that you know you do shoot fenced bull crap with these guys, it was that was not that case. Thank God. But Africa is such a target rich environment because there's probably 50 plus different animals you can hunt and kill, and so you can be very opportunistic while driving around and while spotting to be able to hunt so many different animals. I mean, it's just it's a target rich environment. But if you try to target one specific animal, I mean, good freaking luck. Uh, that's what I gotta say, because that's what we did with the eland. And uh, my goodness, uh, we never even got it together. We never killed the eland. It never happened. I'm sure there's a lot that I'm leaving out here. Um, Price-wise, if you guys want to go to Africa, experience the culture, experience the hunting, which both are equally as, as cool and just you, you gotta experience it. Jay Maxwell told me this, and now that I've done it, I can definitely back it. You can go to Africa, you can shoot everything you want to shoot and have the time of your life for about $10,000. That's plain ticket included but if you want to fly your animals back you're probably gonna want another 10 <laughs> But I mean, dude, if you got it, oh my gosh, it was so worth it. I cannot wait to be able to go back. Those guys were so great and we are friends now, you know? I cannot wait to go back and see them guys. So hopefully one day we're gonna be able to get to go back, see everybody and get to experience it all over again. Because like we were there for eight days hunting and still didn't get to experience everything. It was hands down a trip of a lifetime. And honestly, there's not a cooler trip I think you guys can go and do. I mean, it was insane. The, the money is well, well worth it. If you don't have that kind of money, available to you it is definitely 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 worth saving up and at least doing it once in your lifetime you know that might be the only time i ever get to do it in my life but my goodness i i freaking want to go back but one of the cool things is you know i'm a big deer hunter that's actually uh my missouri uh-oh rifle season here's some uh, deadheads out of iowa but hunting in africa actually falls in the middle of summer when it's summertime here it's wintertime there which actually messes with none of your hunting here which is super super cool guys i'll have a uh, hoops fontaine link in the description i can not thank them guys enough. I've never been pampered to, treated like royalty, like those guys treated me, and they will do you the same if you guys do book a hunt. I'm gonna try to get my crap together, get another hunt book maybe sometime in the future. Cannot wait to see them again. Big shout out and thank you to everybody that watched this video. If you guys made it this far in the video, go down, put BP in the comments. I'd like to see, I mean, this is the longest video we have ever posted, and it might be one of my favorites. <laughs> we really enjoyed it. Guys, if you would, hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.